Okay, I'm actually starting to get really tired now because I have been on the ISPO exhibition in Munich for three days. But here is the top ski boots from ISPO. Enjoy! <laughs> HF is the new category that we add uh, on top of the traditional overlap construction, the, the buckles construction, and we may call it from Nordica. And this was a project that started more than two years ago that was uh, requested by the, the end consumer. They were looking for a super easy entry ski boots, super easy to close, super easy to handle, to enjoy only the snow and to not think too much to use a product. I would like to say that this is the e-bike for the ski boots. So something that may help you to do what you like more, but maybe you are not supposed to do it anymore because you were not uh, able to wear ski boots or it's too difficult or you are back pain and you don't want <laughs> to bend over and to close the buckle. So you may get in and get out super easy. There is this back mechanism that with the red wheel that uh, increase or decrease the volume. And uh, just opening the boot, you may get in very easily. And as well, with your foot, you may close. This is the mean of HF. HF means hands-free, so I don't want to use any more the hands to close the buckles. You may close uh, the, the system with, your, with the other foot. And at the same time, we have a pole that uh, you may use to reopen when you finish to ski. Primal of construction on the liner, so very warm construction. Grip walk soles, we have as well Michelin soles, rubber soles on the Terminate model, on the Elite series. Uh, a new innovative system of uh, B-injection of the plastic, so double density uh, on the shell and on the cuff to have uh, a wrapping set up as well on this construction. But I think that the key of the, the comfort and the key of the performance is given by the liner. We are using a traditional liner that is not a two-pieces traditional line that we use in, in the old boots of this category. With a 3D construction with full cork, primal of isotherm material, so very warm, fully thermoformable as the shell, so the, full, the, the ski boot is fully customizable. So what is the biggest difference between, say, my parents' ski boot that I bought for 30 years ago compared to, uh, to this, this okay, new first one? First of all is the fit because uh, with the old construction of the liner you don't have a heel retention that is now guaranteed by the construction of the liner. So the first thing is that the connection of the internal liner and the external shell that is precise is completely another thing. The anatomy of the ski boots that is modern so it's shaped around uh, the foot and as well also the construction with the double pivot so the two inches that guarantee an uh, extraordinary lateral transmission on a boot that is built in this way versus a traditional one. So not only comfort but as well performance, back retention very strong because usually these people need uh, support from the back and at the same time a, a good flexibility to control the modern skis. Would you recommend me to buy one of those? Not one, <laughs> two or three maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, this is like a more free touring ski boots with super good uh, downhill performance but uh, a good workability. So, um, what is the, the flex on, uh, on the ski boot? Yeah, so um, what's really new to achieve a strong flex is this uh, hybrid cabrio construction. So, you have a two part uh, ski boots construction but uh, still with a good overlap. So, that's end up with a 130 uh, ski boots flex. Uh, it's a, it's a, for us, it's a, a touring. Uh, ski boots is not an uh, alpine uh, ski boot, so it's mostly used with, with spin bindings. So it's really the high performance ski boots from us at Scott with a 130 flex. All right, and how wide is the, the last on? on yes, so um, as I was mentioning, we want super comfortable ski boots, that's key for us. So um, on the touring offer, we have a 103.5 millimeter last. This one is a 101.5, so it's a bit more narrow, but still wide for uh, look if we compare to some other competitors, so it can fit a lot of um, different uh, kind of, of foot. And let's have a close look at the buckler. It seems like there's some something special with that. T tell me about it. Yeah, so it's um, we call it a, it's a three buckles uh, ski boots. But um, what's kind of new is uh, the power strap. 
so you have the benefits of a, a, a wide swap to have a, a super good overlap but you also have the benefits to have the buckle to adjust the power you want on the ski boots and what's also cool is this uh, 180 uh, function buckles so you switch from a uh, ski to work mode you open the buckles and you feel super comfortable into the boots you have a good workability and uh, yeah so strong buckle to have a powerful um, and performance ski boots but also very easy to handle to have a very good uh, comfort to have a uh, good precision with the liner and good uh, transmission so we have a BOA closure system in the into the liners so that makes the bull uh, super easy to ad adjust and also when you are working the liner cl stay cl close to your feet and uh, it's much better for comfort but can you still heat up the, the liner with that uh, function yeah you can heat it yeah also the, sh the, the boots you can uh, push it it's made of guillamide and carbon fibers so you, if a, a boot fitter need to push the boots, he could do it uh, without problem. And how much uh, does this one weight? Yeah, the, the weight we achieve on a 26.5 is 1 kilo 440 grams. So it's uh, really like in the, uh, in the battle with like the uh, Scarpa Maestro RS. It's uh, lighter than a Salomon S Lab or MTN Lab. And uh, it's a bit heavier than a Zero G from uh, Technica. But uh, you, you take the boots, you don't feel the weight. That's really important for us. And what type of uh, sole do you have? Hey, yeah, we are using a uh, Skywalk uh, rubber material to have a super good grip and uh, traction. Um, so the soles are replaceable. So that when it's getting used, you can uh, un unscrew the, the, the soles and uh, change it. Uh, so it's compatible with the ISO touring norm. Uh, yeah, that's the positioning of the boots uh, in the touring category. And what will the price for uh, for this ski boot be in when it comes to stores? Yeah, it will be around 700 euro, depending on the location. Uh, but that's uh, the retail price. It's the very first time for Dalbello entering this segment in the touring segment. So we made this new project, this new boot named Quantum. Uh, three different models, Quantum Azulo Factory, high-end model, Quantum Azulo and Quantum. Uh, here we are talking about 950 grams for the size 26.5, so below one kilograms, but still with a very good performance. Uh, I would say three main features without talking too much. The bonded shell is the first boots in, this, in the touring segment using this kind of technology. We bond the shell with the ultrasound technology means that we can use thinner material, stiffer material to be lighter and with a specific ergonomic uh, shape here in the heel pocket. So with the standard um, technology we would not be able to extract the mold with this kind of stiffness. So this is the first feature. Second feature is the dual link cuff. We call dual link because this cuff is made by two pieces moving forward and backward in the, in the right direction, means in the same direction as the leg of the skier hiking up. Third feature is the QLS, quick lacing system. So it's a micro adjustment in both the directions. So you can close, but you can open with micro adjustment. So super easy to handle and very precise. The pressure is very uh, progressive and in all this area you can see with the, an internal lace here. So we have for sure the Vibram dual injection sole and these are the features of the new Quantum. And there's no buckles at all on this? No buckles at all because we have this cam that it's just enough pull the rope, Dyneema rope and close like this and then you are ready for skiing. Then you have just one mo one movement to pass from the ski mode to high mode. So what will the boot fitter say of this ski boot, you think? Is it possible to heat it up or make some changes? Well, we say that for the fitting we use a lot these liners. Yeah. It's a full ultra long liners, so we have 6 millimeters and 7.5 millimeters in the back and we know that this material, heating this material, it gets compressed by 35%. So we have a huge gap where we can play with a fitting thanks to this liner. We, doesn't, we don't suggest to work 
punching and hitting the, calf, the shell and the calf. And what about the sole? Is it possible to, uh, to change it to maybe a grip yes. work? Or no, grip work not because it's touring norm, so it's a full touring uh, sole. Not grip work. We, you have the best grip in any case because it's, uh, it's rubber, it's a real rubber. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you do it here and you can also find more videos from Ispo here and a lot of more videos from Freeride here.